Orca doesn't like playing around with font sizes. His handwriting is just really freaking big. And he, and he has this habit where said handwriting constantly gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it pops! I'm sorry, what? I found the pirates! Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we have absolutely got to have some bombs to get that treasure. You just think of it as payback for that nasty little monopoly you've been running here, huh? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price. I bet you are. Yo, know, Gonzo, I still can't get over it. that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that G guy, I knew he was hiding something back at outset. Yeah. When I saw that postman, I just pretended I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if the two of you got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. The greatest! You idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be stupid! Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Get me dock him some pay or something? Wait, you get paid? Quit goofing off both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second we're done loading up, we're setting sail to Outset Island. Miss, do we have to leave immediately? It's been so long since we were on shore. A few hours, really. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating. Well, how about some grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, I'm fine either way. Of course, whatever you say is fine, miss. That's what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, I can't help but think that it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. What do you say we set sail tomorrow, huh? 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 Treasure's not going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Yeah, we're just... We're just standing here, holding these barrels. Looking pretty. And that, that's about it. You're all fools, you know that? You saw the demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Well, don't even say such things. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried about more than the island and the treasure. Or whatever it is, he said. Don't be ridiculous. I want, y you know, the, the treasure. Huh? Oh, oh, I gotta hide. You didn't see me. That wink obviously means you didn't see me. All right, fine, have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. We're setting sail on first light, so no sleeping in, understand? Ay ay. Coming through. We got barrels. Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Today's password is chumily. Chumily, chumily. Is that even a word? Like what the heck? I don't think I've ever gotten that password before. It doesn't. Chumily. Chumily, eh? Oh, man. 
Let's steal all of this guy's rupees, even though we can't carry them. He just doesn't deserve them. Oh, man! Ceiling fan! I'm taking all of your rupees. You can't have them back. Not even I can have them. So, you know. Oh, man! This, this guy, he's totally paying the price. Paying that price. The price is right. It's also left. But it's not wrong. Or something. I, I don't know. Yay! Money! Woo! Screw you, loser. Alright. So, where's that pirate ship at? I can never really remember exactly where it is. I know it's like over here. I know, I can't remember where it is, but I know it's right over here. That, I am single-handedly the greatest. How do you treat a shark? Uh, chummerly, obviously. <laughs> Whatever the heck that means. Wait. Chumly, not chummerly. What the heck? All right, you may enter. Okay. Oh no! I'm in your room! I'm in your room! What you gonna do about it? What you, why do you have a picture of me in your room? That's not creepy. Hi there. Oh, gee guy, my old swabby! You're alive! I mean, I, I knew you were alive. You know, I just... I'm, I, I was, I don't know, I, I thought, you know, I, I don't know. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. But I guess being worshipped by a swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't you set you under your next test, huh? This one's harder than the last. Oh, man. See the lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, the platforms rose up for you to jump onto. But there aren't any. It took weeks, but I finally uninstalled them. There's no trace of them left at all. I'm over here now, even though the torch is on the complete other side. I put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before the time runs out. Ooh! The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so step on it! If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Um, all right. No, don't, no, no, Link, serious, don't, don't climb up. Come on, come on, buddy, come on. We can do this. We, we can, we can do this. This part can be kind of weird and wonky sometimes. I don't really get it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can't use your Deku Leaf here. It doesn't doesn't work that way. Ha! I locked Nico in. Take that, Nico. Why did I press A? I'm dumb.
We're gonna be here a while, by the way. Just saying. No, Link, you're not even facing the correct direction, you crazy kid. Get back over here, Torch. I know you just inexplicably move in strange patterns, but, you know... Hi. What? You've got to be. You did it already. You're incredible. This isn't good. I never even passed this test. Even though, I mean, I got over here, didn't I? How, how else would I have gotten over here? I made it look so easy. Oh, I have to give it to him. If I do, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Okay, you're the best swabby of all time. So I guess I'll give you the bombs. Just don't tell anyone, okay? All right. Okay. Oh, that now streaming... If you let the game sit on the title screen for a while, that'll eventually play. I didn't actually know that that happened until recently. And I'm like, you know what? That's going to be my now streaming video. It's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. Oh, hello, stone in my pocket. I, s I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I'd have to guess that you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? Well, don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things will go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs, anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in the cave on the back of the island you were born on. Thank you for reminding me. I could have possibly forgot, and then maybe you'd get, like, some sort of head start. So, you know, I was... How can she see me? She can see me through this magic stone on a string. <laughs> Serious. That, that's... That's seriously how she sees me. I, I don't I don't get it. But uh yes. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one Miss Tetra has. Now how can you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Yeah, speaking of luck, uh, Nico, I'm gonna lock you in there. And it's very likely no one's gonna let you out. Just just pointing that out. So, um, you know. Don't hold it against me or anything. I suppose if you want, you could hold it against my ancestors and tell them a bunch of boring stories or something, but I mean, even then, that, that's a little crazy. So, let's see. What else is hiding in this here room? If I could ever get beyond this chair. Well, there's, a, a, there's a thing, and then, uh... There's some lady who I have no idea who is, and then um, I'm sure I have a trifork, and that's pretty much it. That's not Anju, if that's who you're referring to. What the, what the heck? Doesn't even look like her. Shut up, Watch. You're so mean to me. I 
So let's see, is there anything else I can really do on the island right now? Because I don't think there is. I can check the mail again, though. Good evening! This is a notice from Beetle Ship Shop. It's time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that's burst onto the scene. Bombs! Convenient, right? Yay, Beatles chart! I can see where all of the Beatles are. So, you know, if you're looking to race some of them, get out of Donkey Kong 64 while you still can. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates will be leaving until the morning. We must meet Jaboon and get the pearl but before they arrive. Let us delay no longer. All right. If I could remember how to get in you, that would help. I'm sorry, what? Oh, man, the wind is going the complete opposite direction. Gosh. So let's see, what song will I play now? Hmm. 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 I guess I can just go back to a random one. Oh gosh, this one. This one's gonna be really quiet, so I don't think it's worth even listening to that one. Oh man, Bowie Base Galaxy. This is my appropriate. Actually, you know what? Hold that thought. There, that's better. I slightly modified this song. Let's see if you can figure out how. Gale Island? Whoa. Play the one about falling down the stairs? What? Now see, what I actually did to this song, um, I basically, I took the underwater variation of this song and I fused it with the, uh, the normal version. So, I mean, they both complement each other, like, perfectly, so it's sort of like, dude. It's crazy. Also, I made it raise an octave, so, yeah. Because that's cool. Minecraft disc 11 and 13 at the same time? How does that work?
Well, I'm small, right? Yeah, I've heard you want to take the chart out and stuff. It's like pretty sweet, man. This one might be a little harder to figure out, I guess. I don't know. Gosh, I have like all of the Super Monkey Ball 2 soundtrack. It's like, oh my gosh, the songs in that game are great. What do you got? Oh, so that's how that works. All right. No, it is Metroid. It's from uh, Super Metroid. I don't remember what song exactly. Also, Great Fairy. They look less scary creepy and more artistically creepy. Is it Samus' theme? I thought so. I, I wasn't sure, though. I can carry more rupees about freaking time. Okay, bye. What song is this? I missed the name of the song. Mail again? Really? What the heck, man? Oh, this is from uh, Metroid Prime 2. Okay. Empty bottle, a heart piece, and a treasure chart. <gasps> Yay! Where's my boat? Boat, why are you always hiding from me? Where was the guy facing? Was he over there? Yeah, he was like going that way. I don't know what I'm looking for exactly, that's the problem. I can't see unless the lightning goes. Um It might be a big octo or something, but I don't I can't see like anything. It's crazy. Unless that's it over there. I think I see something over there. Yeah, that's it. I see a submarine. Oops, I killed you a little.
Snowman from Mother 3. Of course, isn't that like the same song in all the Mother games? Mm. I have this. There's a lot of friends waiting for me down there. It's a good thing those guys down there can't see me. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, man. I founded treasure. Actually, I don't know if I have the Monkey Target 2 song. It's mostly just the stage themes, actually. You know, I didn't want to fight you guys. I just wanted to steal your things and then leave. Hmm. Oh man, another Mother 3 song. Craziness. Oh, might as well go this way so I can fill in more map. I didn't park a car on a sandwich. Why would I do that? Is this one of the eye reefs? I can't really tell. Oh no, this is uh that one island with the with the stuff. Bombs no. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the Gourmet Race Brawl version. Like, I don't know. It it tries too hard, I guess. This is my thought there. You know, I really gotta go back and find that Mother 3 soundtrack or something, because I... There's a lot of songs in there I like, and I don't have them anymore. It's practically all remixes now. I don't know. Oh man, another Zelda song. Porky's theme? More like natural killing cyborg.
Oh man! More enemies! This is a endurance challenge, but I don't think it's the one you're thinking of. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. No, ow, you punched me. Why would you do that? Ow. Ow. It's hard for me to decide on a favorite Zelda game, to be honest. It's pretty much either this, Majora's Mask, or one of the Oracle games. I really can't decide between those. It's like, I mean, even then, I mean, the rest of the games aren't bad by comparison. They're just... I like the other ones more, really. Hey, I finally got f four heart pieces. About freaking time. Ow. I really like Spirit Tracks, too. I don't understand how those DS games get, like, so much hate, to be honest. I mean, I understand the whole Temple of the Ocean King thing, but, I mean, beyond that... No, you fiends! Now, I could have sworn there was a second thing under one of them, bush, the, the, the boulder thing. Guess not. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. I missed one. Oh, nothing? What I actually don't understand is, like, I, I've seen a lot of people, like, badmouth the Oracle games because they like Link's Awakening better, and it's basically, like, isn't that, like, almost the same game, really? I mean, the Oracle games are practically Link's Awakening, but with more stuff, I guess? I don't... I mean, the story's different, obviously, but... Oh man, look at all them barrels. Oh man, we got another Kikaris song. Oh, 
Wait, what? Why can't I go that way? Oh, I almost went into that. Okay, I get it. <laughs> That's dumb, though, because I wasn't even heading there. The game was stopping me from going to the Forsaken Fortress when I wasn't even trying to. Well, they reused a lot of stuff in Majora's Mask, too, but you don't... You don't see a lot of people complaining about that, I guess. I just... I don't know. And plus, while they reused some stuff, they did a lot of different things, too. So it's not like it was just all completely recycled content. I've seen a cyclone, but I stayed away from it because there's really no point in going to them yet. Poor Irie. You know, I should probably take care of Poor Irie while I'm here. Blah, 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 rings of light, I don't care. Ah, uh, of course the wind is in the wrong direction. Oh man, I get to use bombs. Oh man. If somebody recognizes this song, I honestly don't know how. Oh wait, I can't actually do this yet. That's kind of silly. What a waste of time! Will I get all the heart pieces? Probably. I've 100% at every other Zelda game I've done thus far. I might as well. Mega Maple, this might sound familiar because of a certain key word in your name. The game got kind of dull after a while, but it, it had some good music, though. I'm not even sure where this is from exactly, so I don't know. Well, I haven't played the game in years, so it's like, I just like the songs. It's not Leaf Free, I, I don't know what it is. The song's called Snowdrops, I don't know. Is that the Iran place? I, I don't even know. Can I do anything here? Because I don't think I can. I think I remember that fu yeah, I, I need a I need a thing. I'll have to come back here. Now where's that fish? 
Fish. Someone told me I'm a magnet. Oh man, this song. I hear the bird people who live on Dragon Roost Island east of here have invented an incredibly useful device they call a gr Really? Glitter, glitter Gulch Mine, y'all. Freaking Glitter Gulch Mine. See, I have some original game music in here. Which should have already been obvious because of the Super Monkey Ball songs, but whatever. Aw, oh, Tee Hee Desert. I have to get that song. I forgot about that. Or no, no, it's not Tee Hee Desert. It's the one from Partners in Time. I don't remember what that's called. I don't remember what Tee Hee Desert sounds like. This is another reef, because I can't do the reefs right now. Apparently. Yeah, Gritzy Desert. Wow, there's actually somebody who didn't like the first games and like Nuts and Bolts. I didn't think that was actually possible. <laughs> Based on, you know, the fan rages I've heard. See, I, I... For one thing, I don't have an Xbox to begin with, so playing Nuts and Bolts is pretty much out of the question entirely. But, like... It doesn't look like it'd be something that appealed to me, because I, I'm not hugely into heavily vehicle-based games. Like, it, it just... I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me. It's not a fitting sequel either, that's really the other problem, because it's like, they basically completely changed everything. You know, it's just kind of annoying, actually. Actually, I've not played Mega Man, at least not a lot. I don't think I... I think I've played, like, the first one a fair bit, but I don't remember if I ever beat it. So, I, I don't know. Windbreak Bay. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Obviously, I have that song, because why wouldn't I?
Actually, I don't have any Super Meat Boy music, but I kind of want some. I didn't start playing Super Meat Boy until relatively recently, so... I can't actually do anything on this island yet. Cause I, I think I need, like, the hammer or something. I don't even... Oh yeah, spoiler. My bad. <laughs> Got Super Meat Boy from an indie bundle, but I don't think it came with the soundtrack. Dude, you don't remember this song? You obviously haven't watched my LPs, then. <laughs> it's Windbreak Bay from Wario Land Shake It. It was one of those submarine levels. There's a stage called Windbreak Bay. Ha ha, fart joke. I know. Diamond Step Island. Oh, I got some great information, small fry. Lucky you. We use the treasure that's hidden on the island there. The thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. <laughs> My first Pokemon game, um... Probably Pokemon Red. <laughs> Probably. I'm not I'm not totally sure. Derailed Express? I thought I had that one, but I don't think I do actually. Did it come with the soundtrack? I'll have to go look at that, I guess. So as far as I remember, you can always go back to that page and download things. I just have to find the download page. Yeah, I paid over average price for, like, both of the hundle bundles I did. Because it's like, why wouldn't you, really? They give you so much extra junk, it's, like, crazy. Oh, jeez, you don't even have to ask me to play the Crystal Star song. <laughs> Gosh. Do I prefer Let's Plays or Streams? I like both. There's... what's not like... yeah, what's not to like about both? I mean... Gosh. I mean, because they're both completely different things, so it's sort of like, yeah. Did I give away my Cave Story Plus code? No. I haven't even played that game. I keep meaning to... I haven't actually played a lot of the Humble Bundle games. I just I keep meaning to, and I haven't done it. No, east. What am I doing? Oh, hey, I didn't even go on the island yet. And I know exactly which island this is, too. Oh, no! Sea Hat! This way is Sea Hats! No!
Well, yeah, the LPs have a lot more quality to them, but the streams are just like... They're just sort of a casual little thing. I get to like be all like, hey guys, how y'all doing? Which is something I can't really do in an LP. Cause, I mean, oh, I can, but it would be a little silly. Oh no! Ah, oh, nuts! I bet you guys can't even really see a thing. It's too dark. I hate this part of the game, actually. It's it's silly. I can't even reach that thing from here, can I? Ow. Oh, I can hit it with the boomerang. I didn't even realize I could do that. That's actually kind of funny. No, I don't hate the... The, the chart filling in is fine. It's this part of the game where it's constant rain. And you can't see anything. It's... Ugh. Just annoying. Oh, so beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. I'm so glad I brought this kaleidoscope, Heart. You are so silly, guy. What song is this? I don't even remember what song this is. Spiky baby! Oh, I know what song this is. Do little bunny hops, do little bunny hops, bunny 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 sword hop. Which LP gave me the most fame? Um... Probably Pikmin 2. That seems to always be my most popular, I guess. So. Oh, this is a remix of, um... Is it Casino Night Zone? I, I think. The wind's already in the right direction, dang it. Yay, treasure char! By the way, I haven't even been opening those things. Ah, I don't want to see that one. That one's scary. It's got tingle on it. Too much tingle can, like, ruin your life. Too many sea hats can, like, ruin your life. Oh, 
Okay, let, let's let's progress the plot or something. His world. No one likes Sonic 06. Is this like the normal song, or I, I don't know? Do I have C4 pl C Floor Palace? I think. Yes, I do, actually. Why is life an open book? What's wrong with songs with lyrics? Have you noticed... Oh, wait, sorry. I gotta turn the radio off. Radio is loud. Gosh. Have you noticed, G-Guy? Morning has not broken since we arrived on Great Fish Island. The land is so ravaged by monsters, it's as if time itself is frozen. Yeah, I haven't noticed at all, obviously. I mean, obviously, this is just... It's completely... Like, new information to me. Just totally new information. I fell in the water. Why have I fallen in the water? Why? Well, I guess we can go see Ariel's grandma again. I bet she misses us. Hi, Ariel's grandma. Oh, G guy, Ariel, don't go, don't leave, don't leave your poor old Ariel's grandma, all alone. Ugh. Oh, hey, I've I've suddenly run out of hearts somehow. Oh man, I better use this fairy. Goodness, fairy, what do you think you're doing? You're supposed to heal me. Get away from Ariel's grandmother! <gasps> Gee, guy! Is that you? Grandma has always been sap happy to... <clears throat> Jeez, Grandma. Learn to speak English. I'm sorry, that was, that was rude. Ariel's grandma. My bad. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? You're such a sweet child. Well, that's right. You and your sister, Lord Ariel, have been trying so hard to be strong. I've just been sitting here, meaning, moaning, and worrying. I'm your Ariel's grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, G-Guy. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible Ariel's grandmother. This is all I can give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. I got Ariel's soup! She she claimed it. It has her name on it. If I drink it, I'll have as much power as Ariel. <laughs> I don't know. It's yellow. Don't do anything reckless, all right? Okay, bye, Ariel's grandmother. I still want that stupid fairy to heal me. Stupid fairy cheated me out of healing. What the heck is up with that stupid fairy? <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on. Hold on, I remembered a thing. I'm supposed to do this now. No, I'm supposed to do this now. Yeah. I got an orange rupee. Unlike the last one, this is actually worth a hundred rupees instead of just being worth one. 
The last one must have been a fake or something. Goodness. Okay, so now is the part where... Dare I do the thing? Dare I? Ha. <sighs> hey, what are you doing to that shark? Just because it's made of cardboard doesn't mean you can just push it all the way over there. The island has seen hard times ever since you departed. I do not know what you've been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. You know that just by looking at me for like five seconds? Goodness, man, you're like crazy. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills! All right. I must say, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me 100 times or more before I hit you three times. This is actually very simple as long as you know what you're doing. You know, it's, it comes down to patience. certain rhythm to it. Because he always does a parry after two. Get away from the wall, Grandpa. Let's get away from the wall, Grandpa. And then if he does that, you use your shield. Oops. He didn't do a parry that time. Sometimes he doesn't do it. I don't know why. Dude, you're like in the door. I'm surprisingly okay with this. I can't see. How many do I need to get? Isn't it 500 or something?
More than anything, this is really just a test of endurance, really. And like, once you get the rhythm down... Why waste time throwing a jar at him? So, wait, do bombs do something, really? I can't use bombs, what are you, what are you talking about? Dude, stop doing that. Stop it! It's back out of the corner now, Grandpa. She's doing it, like, after every set. Oh, man, I suddenly stopped caring. Oops, I hit you another time. I actually have gone all the way up to 888 before. It, it just got to that point and it's like, okay, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> 501 blows, you have improved. You've already become a fine swordsman. I am certain I can. you can do even better. Take this. Yay! That's why we're doing it. Oh, you actually get something at a thousand? I never even bothered. It's sort of like, meh. It's tedious enough getting to 500. And finally, the reason we came here. Complete opposite direction, you wind. We oh no, oh, it's freaking the thing got in my way. What the heck? 
Well, that was dumb. No, I ran into that stupid wooden pole or something. and It's just like, nope! You're gonna fall now, and you're gonna like it. Oops, I ran into a tiny little tree. I have not played Chibi Robo. Sorry. There's a lot of games I just haven't played, honestly. I, I need to branch out at some point, I guess. Be like the greatest tree ever. I don't know. I don't fail at gliding. I fail at falling with style. Yes, it's a hole. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that. Oh, man. <laughs> Young Quaker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Flower petals in my face. I got a giant wallet. I like how in order to get like like hold more rupees, I have to use magic from fairy fountains. Freaking magic wallet, man. What in the heck? How am I supposed to know how rupees get divided into smaller amounts when you don't have enough room for them? Honestly, there, there's no way to figure that out. It's like a complete and utter mystery. How did that guy hit me? I was up here on this ledge. Freaking hackers. Who do they think they are? Okay, so maybe I should progress the plot now. Maybe. I'll I'll think about it. Shut up, watch. I don't care if it's 6 o'clock. I started like 45 minutes late. I'm going to keep going for 45 minutes. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. There ain't nothing you can do. Oh, I hate when you have to talk to the boat because I go and try to freaking jump into the boat from the dock, talk to him first. It's so dumb. And now, the greatest boss fight ever! A wall! Curse you, wall! Yay! Take that, wall! It's possible to fail that if you run out of bombs. 
Well met indeed, Jaboon. I'm pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. Okay, what what what's with this gibberish? I mean, serious. Oh, hey. I got a shiny blue ball. Yay. No, no, see, the joke that I am making here is that it's the tongue of the ancients, and, and uh, since Ocarina of Time took place in the past, it, see, it, it's, it's funny. So that foul rain and the endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on to us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Okay, bye, crazy fish. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, G Guy? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Goodness. Probably one of the last things I'm going to do before the stream ends. <laughs> you don't know. Should have probably bought more bait. Let's see if I can go over and meet Mr. Beetle to go and get me some delicious bait for all of the fishies in the sea beetle beetle hi beetle how you doing I don't know what he just said there, but he said something different than normal. I bought a hoy pan accident! Woo! <laughs> Hooray! No, I don't want to buy another one. I want more bait. Thank you! Yeah, you know what? Let's buy some bombs. I ain't using my rupees for anything else, let's be honest. Alright, so I set it to go northeast. Let's go, kingly red lion guy! I don't want to go that way. I want to go that way. All right, let's turn that radio on. Burn. <laughs>
The song is from Kid Icarus Uprising. It's the Seafloor Palace, man. Oh, man, a tweetster. Oh, hey, it's one of those special, uh... One of those special things that I, I never really even bother with. Because it's like, dude, whatever. Fishman, really? Are you way over there? What the heck? I really hate this fish guy, because sometimes he doesn't show up. Like, he'll... He'll just randomly not actually show up, and then and you, you have to, like, go all the way around the island before you even see him. I don't know. He's... He's an annoying little guy. Dude, sailboats do have radios. But this is a, this is a special boat. Seriously. Yeah, blah, 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 cyclones. I mean, because the, the, the boat can talk. I mean, obviously, that means it can play music. Don't you know how boats work? Gosh. Whoa, why did everything just get, like, super dark? Did, did anybody else see that? It, like, just got really super dark all of a sudden. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Oh, someone requested this song earlier. <laughs> I was just picking a random song, so I, I, that's lucky, I guess. Where's the island? I can't quite see it. Is that it over there? Like, is that really it right there? I, no, that can't be it, because it's not even pointed in the right direction. Must be that tiny little thing over there. Personally, my favorite part of that boss fight is that one attack that Dark Bowser uses where he... He's like throwing all of those dark versions of the Bowser enemies at you and you have to walk up to him. I, I like that attack. That, that was that was a fun thing. I should probably equip the boomerang in case I need it. There's a sea hat territory. This way may indeed be sea hats. Oh man, this song. No, the ones that live out in the ocean are called sea hats. Southern Triangle Island. I was going to say, please tell me someone knows where this song is from. Oh, whoops. I accidentally wasted bait. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, it's Frog's theme from Chrono Trigger. Yeah. I love Chrono Trigger so much. I place Nairu's pearl on the ancient statue's hands. 
哈。I was about to sail away, but freaking. Oh man, it's a remix of that song. You can't put the wrong orbs in, it just automatically puts in the right one. Fusion Dragon, dude, dude, spoiler alert, gosh. We don't talk about such things in here. Also, I don't think I have that song. <sighs> the song has something to do with barrels and and also volcanoes. No wonder I can't find anything in this sector. I know exactly why that is. I'm sitting here looking for an island in this sector, and it's like, oh man, spoilers almost. This game doesn't have enough water for you? Well, here's a rainstorm. Does that help? Gosh, I'm going south. Why am I going south? I don't want to go that way. I want to go to. Gosh. I'm going to have to go and look for a bunch of songs at some point in the future. Because there's a lot of songs you guys keep mentioning that I keep... that I think I want. And honestly, don't know why I don't have. I've never played Chrono Cross, actually. Oh, hey, a beacon of light. We haven't seen one of those yet. Because I only just recently opened the maps, but, you know, whatever. I don't think I have Good Egg Galaxy. I might. I'm not totally sure. Area freaking six. Oh my gosh, that is the best choice ever. I have that, don't I? I I'm pretty sure I do. I don't have that? Why do I not have that? I hate everything. <laughs> Why did I give you bait? I, I already I already talked to you. <sighs> what the heck? This is me not paying attention! Oh, did I hit the bottom? Ha! Huh. Oops. Wrong, wrong buttons all over. Boy, I'm way off. Whoa, man! We're going spoilers for the second game here. Anybody know what this song is? <laughs> I 
Oh, hey, Silver Rupee. So, this is kind of a spoiler alert for Golden Sun, so close your ears if you don't want to hear it, but uh, this is the Jupiter Lighthouse. You know, in case you care, I mean, <laughs> it's not like where the song is from is that much of a spoiler. It's fairly obvious at this point. Yeah. Ferrar's Pearl is put in the statue's hands. Whoa. Whoa, what does that say? Reach Bomb Island. I don't care about Bomb Island. Dude, the Jupiter Lighthouse is, is a crazy place. Not gonna lie. I need my Wind Waker. Well, basically every single lighthouse after the Mercury Lighthouse is like a crazy dungeon like oh my gosh <laughs> freaking everything oh hey this is the part where he kills you the part where I kill you. There is no Pluto Lighthouse, you silly. Pluto's not a planet. Eastern Ferry Island. Oh man, let's see if I get it. Heck yeah, I'm pretty pro at this. The planet after Uranus? That's Neptune, isn't it? This sentence is false. Radio off time. We're not there yet. Gosh. I'm still on the sea, doing sea things. Wind Waker unplugged. I can do better than that. 
Where's that song? How about this? This song is oddly appropriate. Also, this isn't the intro song, more specifically it's the credit song. But that that's almost the same thing, so yeah, whatever. Really, the twister's here too. That that thing's freaking all over the place. I mean, I understand why, but seriously. Open up your C chart, not your D chart, but your C chart. Let me tell you something, small fry. There's a school on Windfall Island with one gorgeous teacher. Thing is, there's a gang of troublesome hoodlums and blah blah blah. You need joy pendants, blah. Okay. We're gonna have to let this song finish and then it's crazy time. Hello, Twister. How you doing, Twister? You wanna play Twister, Twister? You you can you can be the guy who's doing all the twisting, Twister, while you play Twister. Playing Twister while twisting, Twister. Twister is twisted, I say. He's a twisted Twister of a Twister, Twister player. Cause that made sense. Anyway. Oh man. I place Din's pearl in the ancient statue hands. Uh oh, something's happening. Yeah, this is happening. Ah, oh, it's gonna explode. Huh? What's going on? Why didn't it explode? I have an idea. Let's get closer and investigate. This cannot possibly go wrong. Ah, it possibly went wrong! Late! 
Razor! Laser! Laser! Oh man! Whoa! It's a tower that's pretty waterlogged. <laughs> Slapstick. Sure is a good thing gravity took a while to let me get there. Also, sure is a good thing that that clearly didn't kill me. Also is a good thing that the boat got here without its sail at a very quick pace. That That is very lucky. Oh, man. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods as a true hero. Only then will you be able to stop forest fires. Wait, what? Alright, so where's the fish? I want to find the fish. Fish! Where are you, fish? Fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, where are you, fishy? I remember that the one around here is notoriously hard to find for some reason, because it's just... I don't know. Fish! Fish! Where are you, fish? Is that you over there, fish? I thought I saw a thing. I did see a thing! I did! I did! I did saw a thing! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Well, I've heard. I want to take that chart and the information about the island, blah, blah, blah. Same thing he always says. Blah, blah, blah. Tower of the Gods. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you're going to be fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate, none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yeah, they're, they're some sort of magic utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy, Tingle. Tingle? What does Tingle have to do with kitchen utensils, honestly? Oh, the fighting evil on an empty stomach. Wise word, wise words, not wise words, because I don't know what wise words mean. You know, I kind of want to go in there and like do this dungeon, but I mean, this is gonna be a long sequence of events. Is my thought here. I, I don't know if. But it's really worth doing, actually. Meh. Wind, why are you against me? Well, it's already 6.30. I said I was going to go to 6.45, but I clearly don't have enough time to finish this dungeon, so... <sighs> I think cliffhanger! Cliffhangers! They are single-handedly one of the worst things ever, and I'm sorry. But it has to be done, I think, I guess. Meh. I haven't saved this whole entire time. It sure is lucky that I haven't run into any particular issues.
So, yeah, um, next week, Tower of the Gods. Whoa. So, I guess I will see you next week. Probably gonna, I'm gonna try to edit some stuff today so I can upload things. I, I, I think I, eh. I think I have a Kirby ready to go. I just have to get another Golden Sun thing rendered and whatnot. So, yep. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Ha! <laughs> see you? It's a pun. Yeah.